Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Derek from West Dallas Blue. Uh, I want to make a quick video here to go over how to download and install Canon TM305's print driver. So for starters, you're going to go to usa.canon.com and in the top right you will search for TM305 and now when you type that you're going to get two options. I'm going to choose just the Image ImageProGraph TM305, hit search, And under the machine, it says drivers and downloads, so we will click on that. And now you want to make sure the operating system is correct. In this case, I'm running a Windows 10 PC. And you're looking to just download the Windows print driver. In this case, right now, it's version 1.11, but this will have the most current version on Canon's website. So you hit select and download. It's downloaded. This is what it will look like. So you will double click and you'll follow the prompts. It's going to self extract and that will self run also. So once the self run application starts, this is the screen you will see. And so we will follow the prompts. So I will click next. I am installing a Canon TM305. I'm in USA. And now you're going to point it to the printer. So in this case, I am using it with a wired LAN, so the machine actually has an Ethernet cable plugged into it. Uh, if you are using it via Wi-Fi, choose this option. Or if you're using it with a USB, choose the USB option. And you have to deactivate the block so the the driver can communicate through your firewall with the machine. You have a couple of options here. Automatic search will scan your whole network and find uh, all of your 305s on your network. Otherwise, what I do, I search by IP and I know the address of the machine. So I am just going to type it in. And so there it found the machine. Here's the MAC address and the IP address. And hit next. All right, so now we got the notification. The print driver setup is complete, so it is installed. We just click complete. Once it is installed, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to control panel. And then I change the view by from categories to small icons and I go to Devices and Printers. And now we can see we have the Canon TM305 installed. Um, what I do here is I change the default presets. So I right click on the print driver and choose Printer Properties. And on this window, then we're gonna click Preferences. And it opens another window. Now under the Printing Preferences, on the main tab, the first thing I do is I change the print quality from standard to fast. That way it prints the fastest, it saves the most ink. Uh, for line drawings, you'll never notice a difference. However, if you are going to be printing uh, renderings or higher quality images, you may want to leave that on standard or depending on what it is you're printing, you may even want to go to high. Just remember standard is going to use even more, about twice as much ink as fast. And then high is going to use even more ink. And the higher you go, the slower it's going to print. So I'm going to choose fast. And then on the page setup tab, on the top right corner, it's defaulted to eight and a half by 11. I'm going to change that to an architect D 2436. Now I'm going to be running 36 inch wide media. So I want this drawing to come out landscape. So I will choose landscape. And then just below that, anytime you have landscape turned on, you want to turn on rotate page 90 degrees. The very last step in the driver configuration here is roll paper width. So since this is a universal print driver for multiple machines, they default the roll paper width to 24 inches. I'm going to change that to 36. And I recommend for every machine that you're using that is 36 or larger, you change it to the largest paper size possible. That way you don't have any orientation issues in the event that you do run a larger paper. 
and then click apply and OK. And now the default settings for the print driver are set. Now, if you're installing this on a print server, you will have to do those steps, but also what you may have to do before you share it out is right click on the print driver again and go to printing preferences. You will notice the screen that it brings up is the exact same screen as the last screen we were just in. However, sometimes the print quality or, <clears throat> excuse me, the page setup or page size orientation and rotation and roll paper with, sometimes they don't carry over. So it's always good to double check those. If they don't carry over before you share it out, change the settings there also. And then from there, you're ready to print and you're ready to share it out if you're on a print server.